Hello folks, welcome back to CherryCars.com and today we've just witnessed the official launch of the all-new latest addition to the Mercedes EQ range locally and it's none other than this, the Mercedes-Benz EQE. Let's take a quick tour and see what this mid-size electric saloon has to offer. Alright, beginning with the exterior and up front, as you can see, the new EQE shares a lot of similarities with its bigger sibling, the EQS, and that's because they share similar bones underneath. But some key highlights worth mentioning here include these full and adaptive intelligent LED headlights, as well as this very sporty AMG line bumper. Now, moving on to the side profile, as you can see, the Mercedes-Benz EQE shares a lot of similarities, again, with its bigger sibling, the EQS. But what really sets them apart are these very funky two-tone AMG 19-inch wheels. What do you think of these folks? Okay, at the rear, as you can see, the EQE sports a very sporty profile thanks to the AMG line exterior kit which adds some very nice touches like this subtle bootlet spoiler and this blacked out lower bumper garnish. However, the real star of the rear profile is of course this LED taillight strip that runs across the entire tailgate just like any other EQ model. What do you think of it? I think it looks sensational, folks. Alright, moving on to charging and as you can see, just like the EQ the EQE's charge port is located right here in the rear three quarter. This gives you access to its 90.56 kilowatt hour battery pack, which, if you charge using an AC charger at 11 kilowatts, will take about 8 hours and 15 minutes to get 10 to 80 percent. However, if you have access to a DC fast charger, Mercedes Benz Malaysia says 10 to 80 percent charge takes just 32 minutes. Okay, another cool feature of the exterior are these. The EQE also has a set of stowaway flush door handles as what you find in this bigger brother, the EQS. And trust me, folks, when these are stored away, it gives a very nice and clean look. Okay, moving into the cabin, and as you can see, things are again very familiar with its bigger sibling, the EQS. However, there are several omissions, like in the EQE, you don't get a third screen in the front dash. Like the exterior, the cabin also gets the AMG line kit here, which adds things like the sporty seats, sporty carbon-like uh, dash inserts and finish, and my favorite part, this three-point star motif in the dash. All right, folks, the battery mentioned earlier powers a single electric motor that's mounted in the rear, and it sends drive to the rear wheels, making this a rear-wheel drive only EV. It generates 290 horsepower on 450 kilowatts of the wattage as well as 565 newton meters of twist. The result, it allows the EQS to sprint from 0 to 100 km in just 6.4 seconds before hitting an electronically governed top speed of 210 km an hour. In terms of range, the city spent says charge should give you anywhere between 587 and 669 kilometers of travel. And there you have it folks, a very brief tour and look around of the all new Mercedes-Benz EQE that is now open for bookings priced at 419,888 ringgit. What do you folks think then of this mid-sized baby EQS? Hit the comments below with your thoughts or you added, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Save more, more save. Charika.